it fixed ascension to ascend into the holy hill of the Lord and stand in the holy place of the Almighty. But if your hands are deaf, if your hands are full of fear, if your heart is full of fear, you will not qualify to ascend into the holy hills of God to behold the face of the Father. This is the generation of them that seek Him, that seek Thy face. Now, everybody who desires to see the face of the Father would have to be pure in heart. The Bible says that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see the Lord. Righteousness didn't qualify you to see the Lord. What qualifies a man to see the Lord is the purity of his heart. And God began to speak to me. He says, son, I'm about to challenge. I'm about to text. I'm about to examine. I'm about to prove the motives of my people. You see, the purity of heart, a pure heart is a heart that is genuine. A heart that has genuine intentions. Not a heart that is corrupt. A sinful heart cannot see the Lord. A deceitful heart cannot see the Lord. A manipulating heart cannot see the Lord. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, words come out. And the Holy Spirit said, I should tell you, watch your intentions begin to challenge your motives because the purity of heart is what gives you access into the holy hills of god to behold the face of the father to behold the callings of god to behold the purposes of god to behold god's eternal plans in fact, let me explain this. When the Bible speaks of the heel of the Lord, the Bible is referring, okay, for in a theological simple definition of the holy hills of, of, of the Lord, is referring to Mount Zion. Mount Zion is the holy hill of the Lord. But, but just to go deeper into what that means, the Bible says, out of Mount Zion will come forth the word of the Lord out of Jerusalem will come the law of the Lord it means that in the holy hill of the Lord there is the plans of God waiting to be released deployed on earth everybody who receives from God a calling must have ascended into the holy hills of God to receive the purpose of God but, but, but because most of us have not yet cleansed our hands our hearts are not pure we've been deprived from that ascension why do we ascend into the holy hills of God that we might receive the word of the Lord that we might see and behold the face of the father what's the face of the father the future plans of God for generations when Moses asked for the face of God God said I'm not gonna show you my face the face of the father was Jesus the face of the father was the things that God had prepared after redemption 
And God said, Moses, I will not show you the future. Rather, I'm going to show you my back. And Moses saw the back of God and beheld all the things God did in the past. Where do we behold the face of the Father? It is through ascension into the holy hills of God. Something far more than healing is our willingness to ascend into the hills of God and receive God's established plans and purposes. God has sent me to raise a people that will be willing to pay the price for ascension. It is when we ascend that we receive the call. You see, let nobody fool you that you're God. Nobody's called until you can hear the voice of God saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for me? There is a purpose. There is a calling. There is a heartbeat of the Father. There is something in the heart of God that He wants to do in South Africa. That He wants to do in Africa. That He wants to do in Europe. That he wants to accomplish in America. That he wants to accomplish across the nations of the world. But that purpose is established in the hills of God. A man would have to ascend into the hills of God. To behold. To see that calling of God. And to hear the voice of the father that says whom shall I send. And who will go for me. If you want to overcome death, disease, affliction, or some kind of tragedies, listen, I can't be involved in a tragedy. I tell you why, because I have put on a certain intense purpose of God for this time. I voice the mind of God for this generation I dispense the glory the power of our Lord Jesus Christ accordingly as the Lord would want it so because of my involvement in the current plans of Zion for this generation and generations to come no devil can touch me no man no man can stop me any attempt on me God shows up because he that carries anybody who carries God's purposes on earth becomes a man or woman that God himself protects I want to challenge somebody this morning to begin to look into the hills the hills of God begin to pray to ascend so that you can capture some of the callings of God, some of the purposes of God for this generation. There are some of you here, God says, I will give you a vision. And in that vision, you will know exactly what to do for this generation. And the moment you ascend into the heel of the Lord, you stand on the holy place of God. And thou shalt hear the voice of the Father that will say, My daughter, I hereby send thee. Thou shalt say this. Thou shalt do this. This shall be what I want you to do. And anybody who receives from God will see the power of the Holy Ghost, the glory, the provision, the protection, the preservation, the ongoing glory of the Lord upon that person. God wants you to become a channel of his callings, a channel of his plan, a channel of, of, of his purposes, a channel of his power. Lift your hands up. In the name of Jesus, your hour to ascend and become channels of his glory has come. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media. 
be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God, Pastor John Anosike, is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer, Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 622-67035048, Branch, Woodstock, Branch Code, 250655, Swift Code, FIRNZA, JJ Building Project Banking Details City of Sons Bank First National Bank FNB Account Name New World Faith Ministries Account Number 623-569-03578 Branch Code 250655 Branch Woodstock Swift Code FIRNZA JJ To give online Kindly visit our website and use the following link www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here you can give via PayFast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name Ikechuku. John Anosike, account number 11700020753, Bank, Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line, plus 27634235895. Or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org.